Hi, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, we're going to do a bird's eye maple bowl, and this is going to be the bowl that I give away for the 750 subscriber uh, mark that we attained last week. So there'll be instructions toward the end of the video on how you can win this. So I went through my blank stash here, and I found one that had lots of big bird's eyes in it. I thought it'd be a really nice uh, bowl to give away. It's about a little over seven inches in diameter and just a little over three inches deep, so hopefully we can get a, a close to that size finished bowl out of it. Just going to mount it on a sacrificial block using hot milk glue. Uh, same as you've seen me do in past videos. So we'll get that done and we'll get it on the lathe. So the glue is set up here now and um, all this is, it's, again, it's just a face plate that comes with the lathe. It's threaded. Um, to fit on the arbor of the lathe. Uh, got probably more wood here than I need on the sacrificial block. And that's just there to give me some clearance around the bottom. And this just threads on like so. Lock the spindle and tighten the faceplate and we're good to go. I'm just going to make a quick pass around the inside to bring it up to balance on the inside as well. Then I'll go back and finish up the outside here. Just going to make a nice simple shaped bowl out of this. Uh, because this is a twice turn bowl, it's really hard to turn with the grain. So I'm turning against the grain, except for when I'm coming this way. And with a scraper, it's not a clean cut as it would be with a, with a bowl gouge. So what I'm gonna do, because I know that I'm gonna get into a little issue right here in this, in this heartwood right here. This brown spot is the heartwood center of the tree. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little salad bowl oil. And that'll soften the grain. I got a really nice sharp scraper. So I'm going to sand this from 120 up to 600. Then I'm going to use some abrasive paste. So I'll start sanding and I'm going to sand it up off camera and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've got the outside all sanded and I've got uh, the regular and the microfine abrasive paste on it. Shine up really nicely. Lots of nice markings in this wood. This heartwood is super hard. And if you look, you can see it's just the bird's eyes in this are really, it's really hard to find bird's eye like that. So I'm going to swing you around and we're going to hollow out the inside and finish that up. And when we get to the inside, uh, towards the tail end, I'll leave the camera on while I'm putting the abrasive paste on and we can just talk about how the contest works. And then you can be sure to get entered. Maybe it's a little bit thinner than that. I always like to establish the lip of my bowl before I get too much out of the center. On a twice turned bowl, lots of times there's not nearly as much in the center as if you were just starting with a round solid block, obviously. So before this starts to have more opportunity to chatter and vibrate, I like to cut that, that lip, that way I get a better cut.
That is close enough. Very good. I'll sand that up and I'll bring it back when I'm putting on the abrasive paste. All right, the inside's all sanded up. Now I'm gonna put some abrasive paste on. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I'll explain how the draw works. You, if you subscribe to this channel, you can leave a comment at in this video, and uh, I will use the YouTube random comment picker to select one person uh, to win this bowl. Now, if you're not a subscriber of the channel, you can hit the red subscribe button just down below the video panel and, uh, and leave a comment and you can be in. If you came over from Facebook and you left a comment in Facebook, that won't get you in the drop because a YouTube random comment picker doesn't pick up Facebook comments. So you have to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel. Uh, so this is open to anyone worldwide, any subscriber. Uh, I'll ship it wherever wherever the winner lives. So I'm going to do the draw on January 25th that night. Um, so it'll actually be 11.59 in the p.m. So at midnight on, uh, or just before midnight on the 25th of January, whoever's gotten a comment in at that point in time is eligible for the draw. And um, I'll do it the same way as I did the 500 subscriber one. I'll have everything on the screen. You'll get to see the random comment picker do its thing. And, uh, and I'll publish that video. It'll be published right after midnight. So anyone who's got a name in the draw can see who won at that time. If you watch my channel regularly, you'll see that the last two videos, uh, one was a tour of a 100-year-old farmhouse, and the one last week was a demolition of the cabinets in that house. And so my son and his fiance have uh, bought a home, which isn't too far from me, and we're going to completely renovate that home inside and out. And so the goal is to have a turning video or a shop video, may not necessarily be turning, uh, every week, and a renovation video every week as well. And I know that some weeks that might not be possible, but uh, for people who like to watch turning and, and shop videos, I'm going to do my best to get one up every week. And if you're interested in following along the renovations, or if you're here for the renovations, I'm going to try and do one of those every week as well. Get a little peek inside, and it is really hard to find bird's eye maple like that. I'm going to put on two coats of Hampshire Sheen high gloss finish. Um, just turn the speed up quite a bit on this to get a good buff on it. Just rub it in not too much at a time. You don't want to overbuild your your uh, wax at a time because it doesn't turn out well. Just, just a couple thin coats. It looks much better. Now, this is not a food safe finish, so if you are the winner of this bowl, please do not use it for contact with food. I think this would be a good bowl to use for wrap candies or as a decoration, but definitely do not eat out of it. Now I'm just going to cut the glue off of the bottom of the bowl and off of the side of the faceplate. Just use the diamond point tool. Being careful that you only cut with one cutting edge at a time and not both so that it doesn't grab and throw my bowl. And all I'm cutting here is just glue. I'm trying my best not to touch any wood. Uh, so, orient your bowl with the grain running up and down like this so your growth rings are going this way. Put your chisel so that the Tapered edge is against the sacrificial block. All right, I've got this mounted up in a set of cold jaws now. I am gonna slide the tailstock in. You see there's no point on it, so I don't have to worry about that mark in the bottom. I'm just gonna put that in there just gently, just to hold it in. Make sure that I still have a good hold, which I do. Here. 
here. Now we're concave. So I will sand this up off camera and I'll bring you back when I'm putting the abrasive paste on it and the finish on the bottom again. One of the things about doing the bottom with Hampshire Sheen is, as I mentioned earlier, you, just, you do need to speed it up. These jaws are only rated for 600 RPM. And this is the only time when I'll run them a little faster than that because I'm going to be pushing in on it all the time. And my hand will be over here by the switch. So it'll be safe. And I'm still not going to run it nearly as fast as I did doing the outside and the inside before. And there we go. So I'll take it off with the cold jaws and I'll get a few stills up at the end. Thanks again for watching and, and, and thanks so much for everyone who subscribed. I really do appreciate it. Um, and if you can leave a thumbs up and a comment, it does help the channel. In this video, especially leave a comment so that you can get into the draw. Again, at a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do another draw. Uh, and it'll be the final one for a while. The next milestone, I'm not sure what it'll be, but to be honest, I wasn't sure I was gonna get to this point, so. Um, the next one's going to be a hybrid resin and burl bowl. I'm going to leave a few links up in the description for anyone who doesn't know what that what they look like, just to give you an idea. The winner of that thousand subscriber um, draw is going to be able to pick the color of the resin. So um, take a peek at that, and if you can share this and um, let your friends know about it, help grow my channel. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.